What's up guys, Fahad Zaman here. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a video with photos and music using Movavi Video Editor. A video mode of photography can easily become a unique gift for a birthday or anniversary. So without any further ado, let's get started. We will use Movavi Video Editor for this. You can download the program by clicking on the link in the video description. Launch the Movavi software. You are presented with two options. You can create a slideshow with full feature mode, but if you make slideshow regularly, this is a fast and easy way to set everything up with the minimum of effort. Click create a montage in easy mode. It will automatically take you to the montage wizard where you can only edit complete videos but is also suitable for creating a slideshow. Images can be simply dragged into the program window or you can add files individually by clicking on the files button. You can even add a whole folder. At this stage, it's really easy to sequence your photos for the slideshow. Just click on each image and place it in the required position. Extra photos can be easily removed. To select the background music, click next to go to the music tab. Upload the music. Or choose some from the built-in program collection. If you want to make a slideshow with no background music, don't choose anything, just click on the next button. After you have chosen the music, we need to set the slideshow duration. You can make your video shorter or longer. It will influence the speed which your photos are displayed. The program itself will take care of changing the photos in scenic with the beat rather than randomly. Alternatively, you could just click fit to music length to ensure that the slideshow fits the selected length of the music. In the preview window, you can see right away how your slideshow turns out. And go back to the previous step if you want to change the photos or music. Click the continue editing button if you want to make your slideshow even more dynamic. Your complete slideshow automatically appears on the timeline. Photos and video clips generally have a different aspect ratio. We recommend choosing the video aspect ratio in the project settings to avoid those ugly black borders, let's set it to 1920 into 1080 resolution for HD quality output. At this stage, different transitions can be added to bring some variety to your slideshow. To do this, we will use the transitions tab on the left navigation bar. You can apply any transitions, there are plenty to choose from in the built-in collection. If you like consistency, you can apply the same transitions to all the slides. Just right mouse click on the one you like and choose add to all clips. To add titles and labels, click the title tab, choose the options you prefer and drag it to the timeline by placing it over the appropriate slide. Double click on the slide with titles on the timeline and enter the text you want. The color, size and font of the text can be changed. To save the changes, click on the apply button in the upper right corner.
hit the filter button and choose a filter from the categories presented. Let's drag your preferred filter to the target slide. If you want to try another, you can simply remove it and use another. To add stickers and animation, choose the stickers tab, it's a must have for slideshow. Just click on the sticker tab and add the sticker or drag it on the timeline by placing it over the target slide. You can modify the size and position in the preview window. You can add more than one stickers at the same time. To animate the object, click on the animation tab, choose a sticker on the timeline and click the add animation button. With the help of the function, we can make an object or image move the way you want. Let's click the export button. If you want to watch the video on your computer in the future. Now we need to choose the right format and quality of the video. And the folder will be saved to. Click start and our video is ready. The video can be uploaded on YouTube and shared with everyone straight away. The link of this software is in the video description. So that's all for now. If you guys enjoyed this, hit the like button. Comment down below if you have any question. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.